Uh, as a freewheeling debate about the disqualification of senior Congress leader Rahul Gandhi from the Lok Sabha rages across the country, there are many questions as to the legality of the developments and how things will further progress from a legal point of view. Will Rahul Gandhi be allowed to contest the big elections coming up in 2024 following his conviction in the defamation case? Will the Election Commission declare a by-election in Vyanard? Let's get the answers to all these questions with a panel of guests and experts in this particular field. Joining us on the show at this point in time is Mr. Yaqub Qureshi, former Chief of the Election Commission. Also joining us on the show is Advocate Pinky Anand, former ASG, uh, Chandra Bhushan Pandey, former judge and legal advisor to the governor of UP, uh, Mr. Krishnpal Singh Yadav uh, from Madhya Pradesh. Uh, we also have uh, Anil K. Anthony, former Congress leader, joining us on the show. Mr. Vineet Goenka, BJP spokesperson, with us on the program as well. Sujata Paul, Congress spokesperson, is joining us on the show as well. Majid Haidri, political analyst, will be here with us shortly. And last but not the least, Mr. Pranaya Galwal, political analyst, also joins us on this uh, all-important debate. As we know that Rahul Gandhi has been disqualified today, uh, the big debate is, of course, uh, what the Congress thinks right now. They all are going gung-ho about the fact that this is a part of that grand scale of a political witch hunt. Right, we're going to go across uh, Mr. Kishanpal. Mr. Kishanpal, if you can hear me. Yes, yeah, sir. Mr. Kishanpal, Rahul Gandhi ko Lok Sabha se barkhas kar diya gaya hai. Unko uh, surat mein kal court ne disqualify kiya tha. Congress uh, is uh, surat e hal ko ek uh, सियासी रंजिश बता रही है कह रही है कि एजेंसीज का और एक तरह से लोकतंत्र का जो मिसयूज किया जा रहा है ये उसी का एक फलसफा है आप क्या कहेंगे देखिए ये जो हुआ है वो पहले कांग्रेस वालों ने स्वयं समझना चाहिए राहुल तो हालांकि ना समझ है उन्हें तो कुछ समझ आता नहीं है क्योंकि जब जब उनके स्टेटमेंट सुने हैं तो हर युवा को ऐसा लगता है कि ये कौन है और देश को कहाँ ले जाना चाहते हैं क्योंकि वो इतनी बड़ी पार्टी के लीडर रहे हैं वो अध्यक्ष भी रहे हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी के और आज भी वो उस पार्टी के बहुत बड़े लीडर हैं लेकिन उनके जो बयान रहते हैं वो निश्चित ही ऐसे रहते हैं कि उनके कार्यकर्ताओं में हताशा और मायूसी आती है क्योंकि वो कब क्या कह दें झूठ बोलने की तो एक तरह से उन्होंने शायद कसम खा रखी है रानी अग्रवाल Pranay Agarwal, Rahul Gandhi is out of the parliament. The by-elections could take place. Mr. Qureshi went on to say that there will be an urgency to get that done. What's going on over here? Has Rahul Gandhi, uh, you know, undone his own shoelaces by running too fast? Uh, Vineet, uh, the way I see this whole episode, I see it that, you know, it once again proves that an overconfident BJP is unable to keep together its allies. You see, Rahul is BJP's secret ally. Uh, technically, it is undoubtedly correct to disqualify him under the Representation of People Act. But legally, is apart, politically, I would say it is very poor optics and bad politics on the BJP's part. You know, unlike the Congress, BJP is not a party of mainly lawyers, right? It has been a party of hardcore politicians, so it's surprising coming from BJP. But here, it seems that the BJP has miscalculated. In the past, uh, Prime Minister has suffered greater abuse. He has been called a Motka Sadagar to a Gangu Teli and Bandar and compared to Dawood Ibrahim, to name only a few. And he wore them as a badge of honor. In fact, he recounted them in a speech and that worked politically. In fact, the Chaiwala Jaib also worked to the BJP's advantage. But in this particular episode, it seems that, you know, it is the Congress which will win hands down either ways. Ki chit bhi meri aur pat bhi meri for the Congress. So Congresses must be celebrating internally no matter how much you know they are uh, shouting on the rooftops. Mm. Firstly, the disqualification of Rahul Gandhi is not final. So it is not the end of uh, the road for Rahul Gandhi or the Congress party. Under the RPA, disqualification can be reversed if a higher court grants a stay on the conviction or decides the appeal in his favor. Mm. If that happens, he com comes across as victorious. And if he remains disqualified, then also the, you know, Rahul Gandhi, he will cry victimization and Congress will go into the 2024 general elections, all guns blazing, hmm. right? And they will argue that 
it is because of his political aggression on the Adani issue and, you know, which he proved through Bharat Jodo Yatra that the BJP is now myth. But that's what, so, that is what uh, a politician in the opposition is supposed to do, right? Absolutely. Also, it will give another opportunity for, you know, it may bode well for opposition unity. It will give other Congress okay. leaders. That will go to Prane Agarwal again. Prane, uh, you know, you did mention that uh, the Congress party is supposed to find a silver lining in this uh, particular situation, this predicament. But the fact of the matter is that 2024 is not that far. If Rahul Gandhi gets embroiled, you know, in this disqualification for longer than he's supposed to, uh, then the results will be worse than 2019. Vineet, my assessment is that this is just what the doctor ordered for the Congress party. Mm. In the sense, it will give opportunity to a non-Gandhi leadership to maybe, uh, you know, actually hold the reins in the Congress party. It will also give an uh, opportunity to, you know, a, basically a Gandhi-led Congress is unable to play second fiddle to the other opposition parties. But there are numerous other prime minister hopefuls in the opposition and they may be able to take centre stage now, whether it is a Mamta Banerjee or KCR or Nitish Kumar, right? So it may actually help the anti-BJP forces to forge an alliance, right? And another important thing I wanted to say was that, you know, there have been uh, questions raised that whether the law itself is uh, appropriate or not. I would say that uh, the law must stay. It is a good law. Uh, under which Rahul Gandhi has been disqualified. Uh, so don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. The law is very necessary to reduce the criminalization of Indian politics. And it was won after a very uh, long drawn battle to cleanse our politics. Mm. Right. And there have been others like Lalu Yadav and Jaya Lalitha. And, you know, it has helped to tackle uh, those convicted of, say, corruption and hate speech like Azam Khan, etc. One can always have a wider debate on the merits of Defamation being a criminal. Pane, 30 seconds. Quick closing comment. Yes. So, Vineet, I would say uh, congratulations to Rahul Gandhi and the Congress party. So, they have got something to politically celebrate. They will have to fight it out legally, of course. And uh, legally, it is not the end, but only the beginning of Rahul Gandhi's troubles, I must say. There is also the National Herald case being pursued uh, very doggedly by the BJP's uh, Subramanian Swami, right? Uh, so that can also come to haunt them. Uh, if uh, Sonia Gandhi's health continues to not permit her to take up the Congress uh, reins and Priyanka Gandhi remains unavailable, then uh, non-Gandhi -con uh, non Congress leaders can hopefully give the Congress party a much needed uh, new direction or at least some sort of a rejuvenation with Rahul Gandhi playing less of a central role or Gandhi is in general playing less of a central role in the life of the Congress party and that will bode well for the uh, for India's oldest political party Vineet. Hmm. All right Prane, different way of looking at it but definitely you know that puts uh, the Congress party in the driver's seat uh, uh, right now. But Rahul Gandhi definitely can make uh, or break the situation. It also depends on uh, what kind of a support he's going to get from uh, the country's uh, legal framework.